Welcome back, Simmers. This is going to be a troubleshooting video for your Sims 4 issues, plural issues, because I have had several of my own issues in my um, game that have been a bunch of bullshit, to be honest, because the solutions to those issues ended up being small things. They were never anything big that I had to do it, but the... Um, the figuring them out was the hard part because I am no EA technician. I have every, all the experience I have on a computer is experience that I, I had to, you know, kind of troubleshoot on my own, you know, in order to play my own game. So I thought that I would share the information that I learned with you guys. And hopefully one of these solutions will work for you because if you're watching this video, you're probably having some type of issue with your game. Um, and these, like I said, these issues are going to be for MacBook users. I don't have a regular, um, laptop, so we'll be using my MacBook because that's the one I play my game on. Uh, starting with removing your CC. Now, believe it or not, your CC and your mods can cause huge issues in your game with the compatibility and conflicts and all that stuff with the way that they're created. So that's going to be the first part we're going to start with. I'm going to get over here to my finder. And I'm going to go to documents. I'm going to start out here so I can show you guys. Then Electronic Arts. Then The Sims 4. Now you're going to see all this extra stuff here. Some of it you may or may not understand what it is. But then you just go right to your mods folder. And how I start doing my CC. Now this stuff is going to be like super tedious. You got to start removing all your CC. No mods. Just start with your CC and get all your CC out. The hair, the clothes, the skins, the objects. But like I said, no mods. So what I usually do is I'll put it all on my screen here. Not that, CC, and I keep everything organized because this is a perfect example on why you need to be OCD with your Sims game CC stuff because when you run into issues, you ain't gonna be able to find a solution as easily as you would if you were to have your things organized because you know where to go, you know what you know you just put in your game. Which brings me to my next point, by the way. I have this this also this system that I use. You see it says new CC stuff. I'll put all my new CC in there until I run it in my game and I see it works. That way, this goes to show how crazy I am. This is all my new C my new stuff since the last, I want to say in the last month since February 28th is when I've you know done this. So I'll put it all in there. That way I don't even have to look through any of this. I'll just put it in there. And then when I see it works on my game, I just take it out of the CC folder and pop it into the other folder where it belongs. Like if it's a hair, put it over here with the hairs that are usually in the mods folder. But that makes it a lot easier. So, you know, if you want to do it that way, by all means. Then, you, like I said, you just go through and you take it all out. Then you run your... Excuse my baby in the background. He wants to be a part of the video. He does this every time I record. Um, then what you do is you go to your Sims 4 game and you start it. Hopefully, that first solution helps you. Because getting rid of the CC, it might be some um, corrupted CC files that you have. Because all the CC modders out there, I mean all the CC creators out there, aren't all what it's cracked up to be. I mean, sometimes they do do some BS and have you in a messed up situation with your game. You know what I mean? So you want to take this and just get all your CC out. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, this is what we're going to do. The next step is, let me put all this back in because I don't want to be coming. I don't want to be doing this and then have to worry about after I'm done with this damn video, putting all this shit back in my game. So, okay, anyway, then what we're going to do is we're going to remove mods one by one. Now, like I told you, it was tedious. This is going to make it easier. Instead of taking all your mods out, you're going to take them out one by one. That way, you'll see as they come out, you'll see which one is possibly affecting your game. Go right back down here to your Sims 4, hit that, run it, see if it works. If it doesn't work, keep going until you find that mod that's causing the issue. Because believe the, the mods are... The biggest issues in my games, like as far as them not being updated or doing what they're supposed to do or being created properly, whatever happens, the mods have been a big, big issue for me. And if you don't have your mods updated, Origin or on your Sims game or whatever may have happened and it needed to be updated, if it's not updated, it will not run because it causes something, some issues with loading. Now, it was my Wicked Whims that I had a problem with. I had my Wicked Whims in there and I went through the whole process that I'm showing you guys with the mods and it ended up being that my Wicked Whims was in need of being updated because I removed them all starting with my Wicked Whims, which was the smart thing to do because that's a huge file just like the um the MC command system is a new um is a huge file. So I removed the Wicked Whims and then realized that that was causing the loading issue. And when I say loading issue, I mean I was trying to go to different um locations within my game, Sims houses 
or other lots, no matter what lot it is, no matter what family I use, I could not load, I couldn't get into that house. It would take me back to the main screen that shows you all the different towns that you have in your game. So I had to go upload, um, I mean, download, I had to go to the Wicked Whims um, website and I downloaded, I had to go to Wicked Whims and I downloaded the newest file. See, it's of March 19th, I think was the last, I hope that wasn't the last one because that means I got to do it again. All right, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Going to, yes, it was updated again. Even since I did this, that is a bunch of bullshit. It says last updated was March 19th and today is March 21st. So a couple days ago it was updated. So anyway, what I did was I went back and I downloaded Wicked Whims again and then I came back over, or you can do this first, either way. And I got my Wicked Whims folder completely out of my mods folder. I left the animations in because you do not need to update the animations as of now. They don't typically need to be updated. So I left my animations in there and I took the Wicked Whims folder out only. After I downloaded it, then it came over to my downloads folder. And then I just, you know, opened it up with my Kika, your, um, your unzipper, and I did the normal process that you do to put your mods in your mods folder. Then I deleted this. Put that um, new Wicked Whims right in this folder and then start your game. And if it's a problem with updating, it will um, no longer be an issue for you. Let me get this out because I am going to need it. Even though I um, did that update on the freaking 14th and it looks like I'll probably have to do another one because that was, like I said, that was a headache. Anyway, moving on to the next one. What I'm going to show you as a part of the troubleshooting is going to repair your game. It's a quick tutorial. It's really simple and easy to find. So I'm going to show you how to do that quick and then we're going to move on. Um, all right. So you would go to your game library. You click on that. Then your games that you have will show up. Um, you right click on the Sims 4 game. Right click. And then you go down to, where is it? Repair. I don't really need to repair my game because my game is fine now, obviously, but I just wanted to show you guys what exactly it does. And that's it for that. And then it'll run through all your games here, all your expansion packs. And you see, I have a lot of expansion packs and stuff packs and stuff. It'll run through all your stuff and pretty much verify it, do a check and pretty much fix it if it needs to be fixed within game. If it's something that's a part of, you know, the, the process, the origin, it's never worked. Let me see. Do you really want to start over? Yes. It's not worked for anything that I've done. So, but this is something that is a part of the troubleshooting because anytime um, you contact EA or you put a, a you know a pretty vague search in on troubleshooting for your Sims 4 game, that's one of the things that will always pop up. All right, so the next one is, I'm gonna show you how to really check what the problem is in your game. Someone did say online when I was trying to find an issue, they said that in the, um, the MC yeah. Command Center that the no relationship yeah. calling, which is um, not getting rid of any friendships that you have made, they say that um, that was causing conflict in game also. But I didn't have any issues with that, so just in case none of these things work, that may also be an issue. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to, um, pretty much we're going to go through and do another little troubleshooting technique that has been like, I guess, known to work for some people. It actually worked for me one of the times I had an issue. This was a while ago though. So we're going to duplicate your mods folder and it's gonna copy this folder. Now it's creating a complete copy of everything in this folder right now. And I have 2.4 gigabytes of things to copy. You're gonna go do the same thing to your tray folder. it's gonna do the same thing. So then you're going to take your tray folder, take the old ones out, you're gonna to toss them in your trash, and pull your old ones out, where are they? There we go. And put them here on the, t the desktop. Now what you're going to do is you're going to 
open up your game and run your game. This is the other part that you need to do. Now you have the mods copy and the tray copy here. You have the other ones in your trash can, the mods and the tray here, and you have these. Now after you ran your game, it created another mods folder and another tray folder. As you see, they're both empty. It's except for the resource CFG file that comes into the mods folder that's a, you know, a necessity in there. So what you're going to do is you're literally going to you open up the mods folder, open up this one, and pretty much copy everything in here and drag and drop into this folder. Stop. We're going to copy these items and put them in here. You don't need it. You, uh, you can keep this resource CFG in here um, and do the same thing with your tray folder. You're going to literally go all the way down and just do all this. All this is going to go into your new tray folder. And then you start your game after you have copied all those items from this folder into your newest. Let's go back here so you can see it into your newest tray folder, which is empty. You would just literally, literally do the exact same thing here and go, you know, um, go about your business in your game and hopefully that works. And then after you're done doing that, you're going to want to delete your trash can and get rid of that. After everything is safe and secure where it's supposed to be and you have the copy, you can literally just delete it now anyway because you already have copies of the things that you needed copies of. So you can go ahead and delete it now anyway and you are going to want to do that soon after you do that because it's going to just be taking up unnecessary space because these folders hold lots of information and look at this right here because it's 10 MB it's pretty pretty much of a 322 files that's something that you definitely don't want taking up your space even if it's not anything crazy you don't want that taking up any space that you have you know, we are, I am actually going to put this stuff back because I've already done this and like I said my game is running fine but you see in this one it's 2.4 gigabytes so you are going to want to get rid of these things out of your trash and not just leave them kind of just hanging out in there did that get rid of your glitch? I hope it did. I hope one of those things got rid of your glitches. Because as I said, you know, um, some of the problems are just, they're not like bugs. They might be a symptom of a real problem in the game. So it may or may not be a, a, um, a real issue with CC or your mod. It's just showing you that there's a symptom of something going on in your game that's not right. So them. The last thing I'm going to show you guys was an issue I was having for months. I was um, in my game. I don't know how it happened or when it happened, but all of a sudden in game, I was taking pictures and I couldn't take pictures. Everything was black from the big photo studio they have in game. I can't remember what expansion or stuff back that came in, but the big photo studio, the little regular cameras that you can buy um, in your sim game, the cameras that come on your phone that are on your sim menu at the bottom left corner. Um, no matter what camera I used, every picture came out black and it was depressing and sad because you really, hi honey, it was depressing and sad because you really want to um, take pictures of your game, especially if you're doing like legacies like I do. It causes a real issue because you don't have any pictures of your family and it's pretty crappy. So I learned how to do this by actually, I think I found online somewhere through all my crazy shuffling how to do this. Now this part here, we're going to go into the game and I'm going to show you how to do this. So hold tight. Okay, so this is the last part of the video. I'm going to show you guys how to potentially fix your picture error. If you're having an error in your pictures and you're, like I said, if it's showing up and it's all black, this is going to help you fix that error, hopefully. Because I don't know how this even happened in my game. If I did this or if this was a default setting, I'm not sure. So you go to your game options right after you come into the Sims game. Underneath the graphic, underneath the graphics tab, you're going to find retina display. Now this optimizes the game for retina display. This will enhance the visual experience, but may slow performance on some computers. After changing the setting, please click apply changes before adjusting your resolution. Now, I never adjusted my resolution because I really didn't have a, um, any bearing on my cameras working, but this was checked when I first came in here. Hi. This was checked when I first came in here. So I simply came in, unchecked it, I hit apply changes, X'd out, and then 
exited out of the game. And that one simple unchecking of the retina display made my pictures color again. So then you can see everything and it's not black when you're hanging them up on the wall. I'm gonna go picture crazy when I finally get to play my game. Which I'm gonna go picture crazy when I'm finally able to play my game because I haven't been able to play my game because I've been doing the adult thing. I've been too busy. I've been haven't been able to really sit down and you know have a gorge fest of Sims like I really want to because I want to really go CC shopping and go in and just have a good time in my game and take tons of pictures and do all kinds of stuff in my game but because I'm an adult you know we got these things we got to take care of first so um this is the end of the video I really hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was helpful and if you liked it or if you'd like to see more of my content because I do put a lot of different type of stuff out I was trying to do the let's plays which I still am trying to do the let's plays but I also figured that the videos where I show things and you know and do those things are really helpful to other people because like I, if I even can help one person but because no one was able to help me besides the information I found but if I'm even able to help one person I mean then the, the video is definitely worth it because it is a pain when you don't know what the hell you're supposed to be doing like comment subscribe share whatever you want to do i have a great day bye guys